All right, dear devotees. Mm. Dear devotees, we are live and we are live on Instagram and we are live on uh, Facebook. So the cameras aren't exactly side by side with using two cameras and it seems that um, we're not able to get them exactly in the same place at the moment but kindly over uh, excuse any physical shortcomings actually please excuse any spiritual shortcomings but we're here to try to give you some good news to give you some, some spiritual nourishment to help us focus in our life on the most important things which are to make our life successful, to go home, to come home to Krishna, Radha Krishna, Guru Gauranga, Gandhava Govinda Sunda, our real home. So first of all, obeisances to all the live viewers and all the viewers who will be watching in many parts of the world. It may be the wrong time, but in this part where we are now in Thailand, it is 11 a.m., and then in India, 9.30 a.m. And then in, it is the evening time on the west coast of America. And for much of the world, this does work. So, obeisances to one and all. Vancha Kaupatrubhya, Kripa Sindhubhya, Evacha, Patitanam, Pavanebhya, Vaishnavebhya, Namo, Namaha. So, we make our prayer to to Srila Gurudev and to Srila Guru Maharaj, our spiritual guardians, to all of our spiritual guardians, and specifically to Sri Guru, with Om Ajnana Timirandasya, Jnananjana Shalakaya, Chakshur Anmelitam Yena, Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha. Only by their grace do we have any understanding of anything at all, so we must realize and understand nothing is my property everything is given by them and we are here in a serving capacity to serve what they have generously given to us and to serve them by sharing to others too so how will we share well we can share some emphasis of our gurus emphasis on um, our conduct with other devotees Emphasis, emphasis on our faith in the holy name and our chanting the holy name with faith, with service mood. And emphasis on our chastity to the current which is coming to us, the pure current of devotional service and Krishna Prema coming from the upper world to this world by the grace of our Sri Guru Parampara. So, Many emphases are given in different places and interestingly, today, or not today, yesterday we were reading from uh, the Revealed Truth book, which is a collection of many wonderful uh, talks by Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj, structured very beautifully throughout the book. And in chapter 7 of that book, which we have read maybe i suppose i read maybe three times fully now but in chapter seven of that book i i had didn't recall that there is such an inspiring description by Srila govinda maharaj of the importance of the gayatri mantram and the chanting of the gayatri mantram what is there within that mantram especially what is there within that mantram when coming in the current of Krishna Prema from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu through our Parampara. The Karma Gayatri, their Guru, Srila Gurudev, is pointing out something for us to see. That the Karma Gayatri is basically taking us to the Lord's plane where love is in the dedication to the Lord all desire, all wish, all wanting, all ambition, everything is for the Lord's satisfaction and not for our satisfaction. I know it sounds, oh, we've heard this before, but I, uh, actually I don't have the book in front of me to give you the page number, 
But many of you have revealed truth. Revealed truth is also available digitally. And if you're watching this, you have access to the internet, scsmat.com. Then on the left side, you go to books, books and eBooks, click there. And then next page, you will see you have a choice of hearing the book, of reading the book, and possibly of an EPUB to the book link through Darshan.net. That is possible there too. And in this book, if you go to chapter seven, then you can search about Karma Gayatri. So we are hoping, we are hoping ourselves to understand these things, but we are hoping ourselves to also introduce you and remind you, if you've read these already, these very important parts of the uh, teachings of our masters. Our masters, why have they given us Harinam Maha Mantra? Why have they given us the Gayatri Mantra? Why have they given us direction? It's for us to serve these uh, great gems, the gems of chanting the name, chanting the Gayatri, and serving the instruction of the spiritual masters. So, Oops, something just blew over outside here. We're in little windy and hot Thailand at this time. So we're here to serve. And in this uh, reading about Karma Gayatri, we are encouraged to see we must try, as with the Holy Name, to chant our Gayatri with focus, with attention, following the guidance which has been given, not to neglect this chanting not to neglect the chanting of the Holy Name and not to neglect the Vaishnavas and the guidance that's coming through Guru Vaishnava for us all. So appreciation of the devotees is another thing. Appreciation of the devotees, we mentioned last time how important it is. But some reminder came this week since we last spoke and one reminder is that if we criticize others and if we are looking around and saying oh there is fault in that devotee fault in that devotee oh this is not good and in this way actually krishna is withdrawing us from devotional association that we are criticizing his devotees we see the nature to criticize the devotees and we it is sad for us to to say and to see and to say but sometimes we see that the devotees are criticizing here, there, and then saying, oh, I can't come to this particular place or that particular place. And so what happens? The devotees tend to withdraw, to be in their own association, and to gradually, we see, you know, step away from devotional activity. Then we hear this is happening, that is happening. So we must be aware that to be with the devotees, we want to be able to Re reciprocate with the devotees on the devotional level and see the good qualities that they have and not to allow ourselves to see the other qualities. Other qualities means like Rupa Goswami has mentioned in Upadesh Amritam, the foam, the mud, the bubbles, etc., which are there in the Ganges water. They may be apparent material dirt within the Ganges water. But the Ganges water itself is always purifying. And the intelligent person, he will take that Ganges water very happily and utilize that for cleansing the altar, cleansing everywhere without any consideration. And the devotees are purifying. How much Vaishnavata is in every devotee, how much devotional quality is in, it, is in every devotee? Srila Gurudev acknowledged, yes, it may be 20%, it may be 5%, it may be 50%. And in rare cases, it may be 100%, <laughs> you may say. But one day in Dum Dum Park, actually in the new veranda, the veranda where Srila Gurudev moved to in the later in his later pastimes, where Srila Govinda Maharaj, Srila Gurudev moved to, in that veranda one day, Gurudev was sitting on his bed and many devotees were there that day with him and he'd been talking with them and then Gurudev said to those devotees and he said please you give me your blessings for my spiritual life I am now in some mood I am now an old man what can I do you all please give me 
some spiritual blessings for my life. And I actually, probably out of place, because I sometimes say things out of place, but I said something to, to Gurudev then, immediately he said it. I was a little surprised. I said, Gurudev, the devotees have all come here for you to give their blessings to them because we know we are all junior in front of him. But Gurudev, in his humility, he said, but every devotee can give something. They all have Vaishnavata, the qualities of devotion, whether it is little percent or a lot of percent. But if someone has a little percent, he can also give something of that little percent. His good wishes, the Vaishnava good wishes, are very valuable. And so Gurudev, he stood by what he said, but in such a sweet way and helping us to understand he is appreciating the devotees coming together. So we must appreciate that also. I mean, we are to follow in the footsteps of the greater chargers, correct? Well, what greater a charger can we have than Srila Govinda Maharaj, who was the example of the pure devotee, the example of devotion, the example of the Sharanagata, the surrendered soul, the example of what the master wants of a disciple. This is shown to us, confirmed by Srila Guru, Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rokha Maharaj. And he told that it is not only his decision, his consideration, his judgment, but all of his senior God brothers wish this for him. They see this quality in Srila Govinda Maharaj. And similarly, we know that the transaction from Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasachet Tapo to Srila Sridhar Maharaj, Srila Guru Maharaj, this transaction confirming their unique, special uh, relationship. So this way we have the archargers, we have the examples to uh, follow the footsteps behind, if you like. And those examples also showing us another thing, which is chastity, means focusing on the uh, shelter and the guidance, all in all, of our spiritual master and our spiritual master's lineage. This week, we heard uh, three days ago, maybe, I lose track of time, we all do, I think, to some extent, especially when we are in lockdown and so many days may appear similar. But just maybe three days ago, um, then Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj here was talking something of the glory, glories of Srila Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj. And there saying many things, glorious things about his nature and saying, and one part of Krishna Das, Kaviraj's, uh, Krishna das Babaji Maharaj's nature was that he very much liked Kirtan and he would go here and there and to, he would hear and see the Kirtan of different good musicians and good singers. And once while he was staying at Chaitanya Sarasat Mat, he went to visit some Kirtan by Sahajas or Mayavadis, I think Sahajas in Nabadeep. And he went to hear this Kirtan. And then when Guru Maharaj heard about this, then Guru Maharaj he said to Babaji Maharaj, if you are staying in my mat, you cannot stay here and go to the Sahajas or any other department or anything. Here is exclusively our line of Srila Sarasati Thakur. So if you go to these other places, you must get out. And Gurudev, Gurudev describing, Guru Maharaj, make get out of Babaji Maharaj. But with all respect and all affection, if you like, he did this. And then after some time, Gurudev said, I, after some time, means whether it was days or weeks, I'm not sure the time span, but he said some time later, then he's in the temple and he heard approaching to the temple along the road, and Gora Haribo, Haribo, the chanting, the distinctive sound of Srila Krishna Das Babaji Maharaj chanting. And then he came along the road and then he came into the temple and then he came to the temple to come to see Guru Maharaj and Babaji Maharaj, Krishnadas Babaji Maharaj, he came to Guru Maharaj and he giving his obeisances etc and then Guru Maharaj said to him, oh Babaji Maharaj, I thought I sent you out from this temple, why are you here? And 
Babuji Maharaj saying, Ho, 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 ho. Yes, you sent me out, but you did not say I could not come back. And we've heard this different times from, from Srila Govinda Maharaj reciting this. And Gurudev liked to recite this also. And he gave this as an example of Guru Maharaj's strictness, his firmness that we will only come in this one channel as Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur has given. But also gave this as an example of Guru Maharaj is not envious and he is non, uh, he's like aloof everywhere. And so his affection for Babaji Maharaj, his respect for Babaji Maharaj also, when Babaji Maharaj comes back in this humble mood and appreciative mood, then of course everything in perfect Vaishnava etiquette being maintained. No disrespect, but simple matters, simple matters of what conduct is expected from Guru Maharaj by those staying in the mat. And hopefully most of us who are together, then we are staying in Chaitanya Sarasat mat, in the uh, actual Chaitanya Sarasat mat, as Guru Maharaj has given to the world, as Gurudev has developed for the world, the world which is the shelter of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, the shelter of Mahaprabhu, of Nityananda, of Rupa Goswami, through Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and the current through Srila Guru Maharaj and Srila Gurudev, Srila Govinda Maharaj. So we are coming to this present age where we have this wonderful, uh, clear direction given to us. The clear direction for our appreciation of the devotees and the danger of disrespecting or seeing fault within the devotees. And seeing fault is one thing. But if then that seeing of the fault becomes a disrespect and apparat to the devotees, and then of course this is very most dangerous, you can say, because Vaishnava apparat is known as Hatimata, the mad elephant offense. The mad elephant rips up sugarcane, rips up small trees and things by the root, and they, those plants are finished. It's not that like a a sensible elephant, then a sensible elephant is eating here, eating there, but not ripping up by the, the roots and destroying what's going to be also his future food or her future food. So the mad elephant offense is when our bhakti latter, our growth, our creeper of devotional service is uprooted. So we must be very careful about this. And we did touch and not touched, but we've tried to chant some of the glories of the Vaishnava previously, and this time a little reminder from another side of the dangers of not seeing the glories in the Vaishnavas, and to focus on what may be apparently mundane and material, but that focus, it is going to be harmful for us. So again, for those of you who may be uh, inspired to re-go through Sri Upadeshamritam, then it is an opportunity to go through those verses and verse by verse by verse try to actually learn the meaning. Whether you know the Sanskrit or not, that I'm not saying everyone will know the Sanskrit, but to be able to, yes, know the meaning. What did Rupa Goswami instruct in these verses? And these verses he's given to us from Chaitanya Mahaprabhu to Rupa Goswami, for our direction, he has broadcast the guidance. Six items of our urges that we must control. Six things which will destroy, then the second verse is six things which will destroy our devotional service. The third verse, the six things which will ensure the success of our devotional service. Then three ways of loving interaction with the devotees in the fourth verse, the fifth verse is that we shall, uh, is it, um, is it, <laughs> now I'm asking the fifth or sixth. The fifth verse is that we shall, oh, how we will see the devotees who chants the name of the Lord, uh, that who from once, but from a proper source. Maybe I've got five and six back to front. Anyhow, five, uh, if one chants, if somebody chants the name of the Lord, actually chants the name of the Lord from a proper source. He's heard and he's chanting the name of God, of Krishna, in this way. 
we will mentally honor such a person, one who's committed, dedicated himself, given up the mundane tendency desires, I mean, trying to give up that, coming to make some connection of seriously chanting the name, receiving the name, taking seriously means, yes, we're receiving initiation, I will chant every day, a minimum number of rounds, and in what mood, etc. One who's received that connection, initiation, then we will relate to them with our respects, with our obeisances, actual obeisances, we will re relate to them, and to the pure devotee who is always chanting the, the name and the glories of the name, engaged 100% in that uh, direction, without any part-time engagement in the material world, and who has no tendency to criticize others, that person we shall surrender to and serve and, and, and take full shelter of in this way. And then the other of those first six verses is telling us about how the Ganges water may be full of bubbles and everything else, but the Ganges water is all purifying, spiritual, that spiritual nature is there. And this is how we are to view the devotees. Even devotees may have deformed body, may have this fault, that fault apparent or not so apparent. But whatever it is, we are not to see it, not to look for it, but we are to understand that devotee is devotee. And just also a couple of days ago here, we're with all the devotees together, and we're having very, very sweet um, harikata, questions, answers and everything. And really it was also a reminder to us. We had maybe, I don't know, 15 or 20 devotees, but we are discussing, talking, devotees are talking together in such a sweet environment. And it came in my mind, you know, how really we have to appreciate everybody, because you can think, oh, well, if I was to be in amongst 15 non-devotees in a you know, restaurant or just somewhere at the, at the shore of the river, whatever it is, and we're talking about things, what kind of superficial, untasteful, unhappy, actually, unfulfilling conversation would it be? It would be about football or cricket or the NASA spaceship or, I mean, all sorts of things, or boys and girls and music and movies, things which have no value at all in this world and just uh, not only superficial, of absolutely no value and unfulfilling conversation, but we have 15 or more devotees there that day and we are feeling how happy to be in their association. They are talking together, we are talking together, devotees and sharing together in devotional mood and activity. So, let our days and let our moments, let each moment, let us try to be successful in doing such devotional life in association with devotees, appreciating the, the mantras we've been given, been given, the Maha Mantra, the Gayatri Mantra, serving them properly as we've been given to do, being told to do, instructed to do by our masters, serving our masters properly, serving our masters chaste way, happily, and reading their instructions, their guidance reading what they have to say, hearing what they have to say, making this a part of our daily sadhana, not the looking on the, all the news of the material world, which is inevitably going to, which inevitably uh, they is geared to going to our lower nature, in fact, to titillating the part of us that wants to say, oh, see you know, this, that and the other of the material world. The, bad news section is the one that sells the newspapers. So instead of that, let us go to the good news section, keep ourselves in the, in the healthy plane, capture what Rupa Goswami is meaning about what is going to destroy our association, including the association of the mundane, including talking and hearing about mundane activities, etc. All of this is not just good idea. These things he's written very specifically 
in order to give us guidance to get our head out of the gutter and our head and heart into the higher plane. All right, you've heard a lot from me today. In this, this broadcast, it is a little very one-sided because it's only me talking and I'm afraid I've got nobody beside me to see your messages and reply to you, etc. However, it's a bit one-sided. However, more and more, we are engaged and from so many places in the world now, now engage regularly for uh, Zoom uh, uh, classes and association, etc. And we're very happy to be participating there when it's much more like being in a in a temple or in ashram, in a temple room, in a home, in a, a place where we are invited and we're interacting with everybody. But today, at this time, we are sharing some thoughts with you and hoping to give a little encouragement to take always to heart at every moment as much as we can the good advice of Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rakhok Sridha Dev Goswami Maharaj, Srila Guru Dev, Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj, Srila AC, Srila Prabhupada, Srila AC Bhakti Ranta Swami Prabhupada, who are all giving us very cleanly, purely, and in a, a practical way for this age, the message and teaching of Mahaprabhu coming through Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. So all glories to all of our Divine Masters, all glories to all of the viewers now and who will see it in the coming hours and days. And may you all also please give Grace, some grace to this fallen soul, because as we've just heard, if Gurudev can consider this, oh, they can give something to me. I definitely can consider and appreciate. I am in need, a needy soul. We are living in a very lagu plane where easily everyone's mind can go this way, this way, be caught up in material things. May the Vaishnavas help us to keep our mind in the right place and keep ourselves out of the dirt and let us proceed towards light, towards knowledge, awareness, what, what, what is what, awake, and towards eternity. A great place to go, to go, a great goal of life. Goloka Vrindavan, Navadi. Vanchakalpatrubhistra, Kripa Sindhubiya, Evacha, Patitanam, Pavanavyo, Vaishnavavyo, Namo, Namaha. Wishing you special days, successful Seva days, until we meet again soon. Hare Krishna.